Hello and welcome to today's Tips, Tricks, and Best Practices from Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Today's topic is how to merge records. Merging records is a vital piece of Microsoft Dynamics CRM and the reason for that is it helps to keep your data clean. And CRM is only as good as the data that is housed within it. So if there's ever a circumstance in which you accidentally created a duplicate record, if you activated a record thinking it wasn't already in CRM and it was previously deactivated, but then realize that you had already created a new one and have duplicate records, or if you have a back office integration system that pulled in a duplicate record because there's one in your back office system, merging records is a quick, easy way to clean up the data and not lose any of the history or the associated records by merging them together. So let's jump into CRM. I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to merge two records together. So within CRM, from our main drop-down menu, we're going to go to Sales, and then we're going to go to Accounts. And as you can see here, I have two duplicate records of Alpine Ski House. So what I want to do is I want to check mark each one of these. And you're going to see the Merge button right here. Now let's say I had a third Alpine Ski House. If I check a third one, you notice how the Merge button goes away. You can only merge two records together. You have three records to merge. Merge two of them together first, then merge the master record that stayed and the third record together. That way you can go from three to one. It's just an extra step of merging. So back to our scenario. The Alpine Ski House. We're going to check mark both of them and then we're going to click on Merge. And once we do this, we're going to get this pop-up screen dialog box. And what it's asking us to do is to select which one's going to be the master record. So meaning which one's going to stay active and which one's going to become inactive. And in this case, you usually want to go with the one with the most information. So in this case, the one on the left has the most information. Now keep in mind, there are going to be items in one of the records that has information that the other one does not. You want to make sure you pull over as much information as possible and correct information. So as you can see here under ticker symbol, we're missing that in the left-hand column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the right record, and it's going to pull in APSK for the ticker symbol into the master record. So you're selecting which fields are the master as well. And as we scroll down here, latitude and longitude are on the right-hand side, so we're just going to keep scrolling down and making sure all of our most important information is in here and we're as complete as possible. Now that we've gone through and we've verified that we have the correct fields to pull over into the master record selected and our master record selected, all we're going to do is we're going to click OK. It's going to say merging records, please wait. This takes a little while because it's merging all the records. And then based on some back-end information, it's also going to do some cascading information where it's going to pull different subordinate records and merge them into the new master record as well. So as you can see here, the selected records are merged and the subordinate record is deactivated, meaning the non-master. We're going to click OK. It's going to refresh. And as you can see here, we only have one Alpine Ski House in our active accounts. This can be done for contacts, leads, anything with multiple records you can do the merging for. Thank you very much for your time today and I hope you really learned some great information about merging records and how to merge them. Are you ready to learn more? If you're looking for additional tips, resources, and information, this is us at LegendaryPartners.com. Our contact information is listed on the slide here. We are always happy to help with any questions that you have. Have a great day.